Hello, my name is David Chuka Nwajigu, and you're welcome to View Mastery's Easy Interfaces with Beautify. Building a beautiful web application is kind of like building a house. When constructing a house, you wouldn't want to handcraft every single item from scratch. Forming bricks from clay, heating your own window panes, that would be an unnecessary nightmare. Instead, we can go to the hardware store and pick up these pre-made and ready-to-use components and construct our home with them. Similarly, when building a web app, we can use a UI component library, which provides pre-made elements like buttons, forms, navigation bars, and more that you can easily integrate into your project without having to code every component from scratch. One of the most popular UI libraries in the Vue ecosystem is Vuetify. Vuetify is an open source UI library with beautifully handcrafted Vue components based on the popular material design system by Google. Vuetify components are designed for efficiency and functionality making the development process faster and providing developers with all of the necessary tools to build rich and engaging user experiences. In this course, we're going to explore Beautify 3, the latest version of Beautify, and learn how we can use it to rapidly build intuitive and accessible interfaces easily. Before we discuss what we're going to be building, let's take a look at what's new in Beautify 3 and how it improves on its predecessors. Apart from being rebuilt for Vue 3 using the Composition API, Beautify 3 comes prepackaged with some interesting additions and major enhancements from its previous versions, some of which include new components such as the date picker, infinite scroll, skeleton loader, and more, new APIs for interacting with the framework, a new layout system that allows you to combine multiple layouts instead of one, dynamic themes, snappier animations, and more. In this course, we're going to be building an X profile clone using Beautify 3. Just like the X or Twitter profile UI, we're going to make use of images, icons, and components, such as buttons, tabs, and the avatar components. We're also going to ensure that our UI is responsive and accessible to all users. By the end of this course, you should be familiar with the core concepts of Beautify 3 and be ready to use that knowledge to build your own visually stunning applications. Ready to get started? All right, I'll see you in the next lesson. Welcome back. In our first lesson, we introduced Vitify 3, its features, and its benefits. We discuss how its wide range of handcrafted and ready-to-use components provides developers with all of the necessary tools to build rich applications with engaging user experiences. Vitify also offers utility classes for efficient styling, as well as support for popular icon libraries. In this lesson, we're going to get familiar with concepts in Vitify that build upon one another to create an application. We're going to learn about utility classes, Beautify components and how to use icons in Beautify. To help solidify this concept, we will create a simple business card user interface in the Beautify Playground. The Beautify Playground is an interesting addition to Beautify 3. It is a digital sandbox that allows you to experiment with Beautify components in a live environment without any setup. This way, you can build and test your ideas quickly. The Beautify Playground comes with several features a version selector that allows you to switch between Vue and Vuetify versions, a share button that generates a shareable link, config files that include Vuetify config and TS config, an import map that displays all the packages currently imported in your app, and finally, a links tab that allows you to view all the links present in your app. By default, there is already an app.view file present with a live preview tab open on the side. You have the option to create additional files using the plus icon on the tab bar, but since we'll be building a very simple UI, a single file component will be enough. Before we start coding, let's take a look at what we'll be building. We have a simple business card interface with two columns. The left column contains the company information, such as the company name and company logo. And on the right, we have the second column with the employee's information, such as the name, the role, and the contact information. In this lesson, we'll learn how to work with these elements to quickly prototype interfaces. Every app created with Vitify consists of components. Vitify components are customizable and ready to use elements for building user interfaces in Vue.js applications. They are designed to be responsive and are built with accessibility in mind. The Vitify library offers a wide range of components that cater to various use cases. From buttons to text fields and cards, you can customize these components to ensure a consistent look and feel for your app. The Vuetify official documentation provides a comprehensive list of all available Vuetify components 
and navigating the component docs is an essential skill to have when working with Beautify. If we go back to our Beautify playground in our app.view file, we can see two components already present in our code. The vApp component serves as the primary application wrapper and essentially acts as the root component where all your Vitify functionality is located. And the vContainer component is used to wrap your application's content and is a part of Vitify's grid system. We will learn more about Vitify's grid system shortly. But for now, think of it as a convenient way to create a responsive layout for your application. Since we're designing a business card, we'll be using the card component. In your editor, delete the vText field component and replace it with a vCard component. Normally, the Live Preview tab should automatically update whenever we make changes to our app component. However, this is not currently happening because our card has no content. We will address this issue once we start adding content to our card. For now, let's test if the card is present by adding a simple text. We can add the message variable with the Hello World text in the script section of our app. Great, now we can see our card display with the text. Similarly to Vue.js components, Beautify components can be written in kebab case or Pascal case. So we can rewrite V hyphen card to capital letter V card, and it should work as intended. However, in this course, we'll stick to writing our components in kebab case. It's time to start styling this card to look more like our business card design. To do this, we will need to use utility classes in Beautify. If you've used CSS libraries like Tailwind CSS in the past, you should be familiar with the concept of utility classes. However, if you haven't, don't worry. By the end of this course, you'll become comfortable with using utility classes and understand their benefits. So, what are utility classes? Utility classes in Beautify 3 are like a toolkit for your app styling. They allow you to apply common CSS properties directly to elements using class attributes. Let's take a look at a traditional CSS class with properties like width, padding, and background color. Each of these properties can be rewritten to function as a standalone utility class that can be applied anywhere within your template's code using the class attribute. Utility classes are usually designed to do just one thing, thus improving their reusability and maintainability. Combining these classes together makes styling more efficient, essentially reducing the amount of CSS you need to write and the custom CSS rules you need to keep track of. The first thing we want to do is divide our business card into two columns, with the company name and logo on the left and the employee information on the right. To do this, we will need to utilize Beautify's grid system. Beautify's grid system is a powerful and flexible tool for creating responsive layouts in Vue.js applications. It's based on the 12-column layout and utilizes a series of containers, rows, and columns for structuring and aligning content. Here's a detailed look at how it works. Similar to other popular frameworks like Bootstrap, Beautify's grid system is based on the 12-column layout. This means the screen is divided into 12 equal columns, and you can specify how many columns each element in your layout should span. The grid is designed to be fully responsive. Let's also take a look at the main components that make up the grid system. First, we have the vContainer component. This is the most basic layout element wrapping your application content. It can be fluid, taking 100% of the screen's width, and it provides padding, ensuring that your content isn't flush against the edge of the viewport. Next, we have the vRow. Rows are used within containers and are wrappers for the columns. They ensure that columns are placed in a horizontal layout, and they use the Flexbox layout model to align and distribute space among items in a row. This means Flexbox properties can be applied to the vRow component with ease. Finally, we have the vCall. Columns are the fundamental building blocks of the grid system. You can specify how many out of the 12 available columns each vCall component should span using the calls attribute. For instance, calls equals to six, means the column takes up half the container's width since 6 is half of 12. The grid system is based on fractions, so any number of columns from 1 to 12 can be used to size and align content. We'll make use of the vRow and the vCode to section our card. First, delete the test message variable from the template section and replace it with the vRow component. We can also delete the script section below since we won't be making use of it anymore. We will need to add some margin and padding to our vRow component to restore our card display. We can do this by adding the utility classes responsible for spacing. If you visit the official Vitify documentation and navigate to the spacing page under utility classes, you will see that spacing classes are applied in the following order. Property, direction, hyphen, size. 
The property may be margin or padding. The direction may be applied to the top, bottom, left, right, horizontally, vertically, or all. And the size ranges from 0 to 16, with each number being a multiple of 4 pixels. What this means is that a utility class of ML-1 translates to margin left 4 pixel, and MR-4 translates to a margin right of 16 pixel. Now, let's add a margin and padding of 0 to our Vero component to remove the default spacing that it has. Great. Next, let's nest two column components with calls equals to 6 to give them even sides. Next, let's apply a background color to the left column to distinguish it from the right side. Out of the box, Beautify gives you access to all colors in the material design specification. There are various ways to customize and use colors in Beautify. However, for simplicity, let's use the default blue color from our color palette. For our left column, apply a BG-blue class to give it a background of blue. Now, let's fill the left column with the company information such as the logo and the name of the company. Please note that since we're working in a sandbox environment, it's preferable to use URLs of images hosted online, as uploading files directly to the playground may not be supported. We can get the Vitify company logo from the brand kit page. Head over to Vitify's website and select brand kit from the ecosystem tab at the top. Then, let's copy the address of one of the Vitify logos available to us. Once we've done that, we can create an image component using vImage and add the image address to the SR3 prop. The vImage component comes with props and features that allow you to customize your image to your preference. For our image, we may set a width of 300 and a size property of cover to cover the entire container. Now, let's add our company name underneath the company logo. Beautify already provides styles for text elements from H1 to H6. Seeing that our company name text is quite large, we can use the H1 tag for it. Let's add the Vitify company text underneath the image. Now we need to align our text in the center just like it says on the business card. We can do this by giving our H1 tag a class of text-center. Now that we're done styling the first column of our card, let's begin adding employee information to our business card. First, we'll add the employee name and role to the card using the H2 and P elements respectively. If you take a look at the employee information section of our business card, you'll notice that each info is prepended with an icon. The phone number has a phone icon, the address has a location marker icon, and the email and envelope icon to signify mail. Icons in Vitify enhance the user experience by adding visual cues to your application. Vitify supports four popular icon libraries, Material Design Icons, Material Icons, Font Awesome 4, and Font Awesome 5. It also comes prepackaged with material design icons as a default selection of icons. To use any of these icons, simply create an icon component using vIcon and nest the name of the icon you want to use inside it. Let's test this out by creating a phone icon. The phone icon is simply called phone, so our icon property will be set to mdi-phone. Great, now the phone icon shows up in the preview. Let's add the phone information and repeat the same process for our email and address. We've added all the information necessary to complete our business card, but it doesn't quite look finished yet. First of all, we will need to add styles to align the icons with the text and make it less chunky by adding some spacing styles to it. Let's fix the arrangement by wrapping related icons and their text in the div tag and adding a display flex to that div to align them on the same row. Next, we will need to align all items in this column to the center. We can do this by using a flex display, but first, we will need to group our employee name and employee role text in a div so that they are a single child element. After we've done that, we can add the d-flex class to our vCore component with a flex direction of column to prevent the child elements from stacking beside one another. Then, we can add a justify-center class to align it horizontally and align hyphen center to align the items vertically. Our employee information seems to be at the center now, but we can see that the items are not aligned properly with one another yet. The way to fix this is to wrap the flex items in a single div. Finally, let's add some spacing to give our UI some breathing room. Let's add a PT-4 class to each of the employee details except the name and the role div 
to give all child elements a top padding of 16 pixels. Finally, we can add some spacing between the icons and their text. Let's give each V icon component a margin right class of 8 pixels. So that will be MR-2. Great, we've successfully built our business card using Beautify. In this lesson, we built a simple business card UI in the Beautify Playground. By doing this, we learned how to work with Beautify components, utility classes, icons, and other features. We also learned about the grid system and how it helps us structure our layout. While the Beautify Playground is essential for learning quick experiments and sharing code snippets, Installing Beautify in a project is essential for full-scale application development. It offers greater flexibility, customization, and integration with professional development tools and practices. And so, in the next lesson, we're going to be setting up Beautify in a project and building our X-Profile UI code. See you in the next lesson.